I always find it extraordinary that someone who doesn't really like me chooses to follow my posts in the first place. But I suspect that's one of your favorite things to do. Medicate your own insecurity by seeking to edit, control, and criticize the posts of others online, almost in every case of women. I admit it's not pleasant to be a target, but I don't take it personally. I've been around the block in life enough to recognize the personality of someone relentlessly criticized by one or both parents growing up, and sadly has probably turned into a toxic parent themselves. And if you have not dealt with these demons at this point in your life, you're unlikely to now, and I have no control over that. Your emotional terrorism is too baked in to who you are and how you operate in the world. But I do have one piece of advice that I will offer before I block you, and trust me, I've learned to heed my own advice and am a lot saner for it. When you read something you don't like online, just scroll on by. Suppress that intense need to make your disagreement known, as if your opinion is some kind of essential information all my friends need to read. It isn't. Go voice your self-righteous indignation about whatever it is on your own timeline. I suspect you don't because it will get few likes, if any, and it makes you feel far less important than upsetting me, who, unlike you, gets a lot of love and support on social media for the same stances you seek to tear down, small person that you are. Goodbye, small person, and maybe listen to Dionne Warwick. Scroll on by.